What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to World of Tanks. I am back with yet another video today and once again I have two really interesting battles uh, to share with you that I had yesterday while I was grinding uh, that five times experience for the first victory of today's special uh, because I am trying to get my Fosh 155 before um, 9.20 hits live server so I am able to keep Fosh 155 as kind of a special premium vehicle uh, that is not going to make you uh, more credits but it is special marked as a special vehicle and I get uh, AMX for HP on the top of that sounds pretty awesome uh, so today you are going to see tanks that you haven't seen on my channel for a very long time played by me in my first battle with d57 heavy I went kind of ham a really action-backed battle and uh, the second battle is extremely interesting and I would like to hear what you think about the ending uh, so without further ado let's jump right into the action so DJ hit the music hey DJ <laughs> Music. Okay, that's better. Let's go. So, D57 Heavy Tank, one of those tier 10 autoloader heavy tanks on Swamp Map. Uh, matchmaking is really awesome, as we can see. Only three tier 10 vehicles, a uh, couple of tier 9s, and tier 8s. And guys, no artillery. Although, artillery on this map is not the biggest threat, actually. But sometimes it can be really, really annoying. M41 Volker Bulldog doing first spotting over there without receiving any shots back. And we have sniping uh, STRVS1s who are in the platoon as well. A lot of uh, double man platoons actually in this battle, as we can see. STRVS1s, ML1s, STI as well, and oh sorry, you missed that uh, tracking shot on WZ11114. I was actually quite surprised uh, that it was a hit in the first place because uh, D57 Heavy's uh, gun handling is by far the worst compared to all the rest of the uh, tier 10 autoloader heavies. Uh, WZ11114, double action over here, platooned up. I was trying to hit that guy over here who put uh, yet another shot into our STI's. Uh, side armor but guys check this out second jump into the tracks and boom blow up 1539 damage done already and that second guy heat yes goes through easily uh, through my armor uh, quite easily d50 d one has been spotted in really interesting position i have to say really interesting position i haven't seen tanks like that over there before so kudos to you our sti is still moving in with only 420 hp i really do not know why this guy wasn't waiting for me or what, what what he was doing over there in the first place, I have no idea. Let's pick up that second guy as well, and I was able to kill a full platoon of WZ 111s. Uh, model 1 force, of course. Uh, I received uh, one shot uh, from the OHO, that was the penetration because OHO was using uh, that H Derp gun, 397 damage done, quite a lot of damage actually, uh, but I was able to bounce a lot of around. I had to repair my gun because the D57 heavy gun and handling is bad enough uh, without that broken gun, so I really need that extra accuracy. And over here, I was thinking about all those TDs, all those sniping TDs who were sniping over there, but I knew that I shouldn't be spotted anymore, so I took a little risk crossing this little hole over here. I know that uh, we have one house in the middle to block that division between me and all those sniping TDs, and um, JPZ-100 is one of those tanks that you do not want to receive any shots from. Uh, so I knew, taking that risk, I was aiming towards that position as well hoping maybe I'm able to bounce something on the top of that a VK 101p doing crazy work bouncing my shots and my third shot wasn't a hit as well ISU wild ISU appears and I was lucky enough to bounce 750 damage uh, that ISU still has PL10 gun so I was extremely lucky over here and Lova Oho are still over there and ISU second shot as well now let's take a look at this situation once again before I received that second shot from ISU 152. Why I decided to ignore that ISU the second time was look on the minimap. 
I saw our Batch 25 TAP and Centauri Action X are moving in. I was pretty sure that ISU 152 is going to back up, but no, that guy had balls of steel and he took that extra time to put yet another shot into me. Boom, down it goes or in it goes and it uh, actually puts me down to 617 HP already. But guys, I am not done yet. This replay is going to be action backed. Uh, Oho and Löwe most likely are busy, uh, thanks to our RU251 who was spotted before me. Uh, here you were able to see the poor gun handling and uh, super awesome RNG, uh, good gun handling uh, from D57 Heavy Gun. Uh, because that final shot, I have no idea how that was a hit and a penetration as well, under angle like that Löwe was at. All I was able to see was actually the uh, lower plate and to penetrate Lerva's lower plate under angle like this, I have no idea how I was able to do that. So now I see an opportunity to move in, they have nothing in the middle, they have no DDs, T5041 was also running away, so I knew that I'm able to get over here without getting spotted, Oho took the shot, so now I have all the time in the world uh, to take out that Oho, next victim VK101P, who actually bounced his shot on me, and boom, done, every single tier 8 tank over here has been destroyed and it is time to move in. Uh, back to reload, 4600 damage done, close to 2k damage blocked and 1000 damage to my assistants. And I believe this is the biggest advantage on D57 Heavy over AMX 50B for example, but in my opinion AMX 50B is still better. Uh, but D57 Heavy can actually bounce stuff. So close to 2k HP bounced, that means I should have been dead long long time ago, but no I am still alive, uh, thanks to my armor. Uh, but AMX 50B with its speed, with its uh, gun handling is, uh, in my opinion, better uh, tier 10 auto loader heavy tank in nowadays World of Tanks meta game at least. Over here, once again, you are going to see that for gun handling, first shot goes into the turret, of course, and all other three shots are going in, 1130 damage done. I blocked two shots from DVP, but Object 140 was able to penetrate both of his shots, but guys. I was able to survive with 7 HP. You really do not have to tell me how lucky I was, I know how bloody lucky I was over here, because Object 140 low rolled with both shots as well. I cannot believe it. 2 HP kill on DVP, once again, poor gun handling. And am I able to get my top gun? Yes, I was able to take my top gun, my first top gun in today's episode. 6400 damage done, and for me personally there is only one tank uh, still alive that has never been spotted actually guys, 704. Uh, why only one tank for me, because I am never ever able to catch that T49, unless he is driving towards me, but I believe this is never going to happen. Uh, so now I have to simply hope for that 704. Maybe some extra damage done. Heat has been loaded in because I have only two AP rounds left. Let's wait, let's wait. Our Death Star is also over here and hello 704. Boom, Death Star 484 damage done. Once again, come on, gun, please behave. No nope, heat into the tracks is not working. And the Centurion Action X was able to pick up that kill just a split second before my shot landed as well. And uh, this time I believe it would have been a penetration. Uh, but I should not be too mad because I had 7 HP left at the end of the battle and only 6 rounds, actually, only 6 rounds of ammunition. Uh, but Ace Tanker blow up ribbon, top gun, steel wall and high caliber, close to 12,000 experience guys, 91,000 credits. Uh, let's see what else, uh, top by damage done, uh, top by experience, 1,300 experience with uh, tier 10 is actually really really good and uh, that 704 who was never spotted before the end of the battle did close to 2k damage, what do you know, sneaky sneaky bastard. Uh, what else interesting? I don't know, nothing. I guess damage blocked, 2590 damage blocked, and I made 20,000 credits profit after this battle, firing only 4 heat rounds. But I missed a couple of rounds, a couple of rounds didn't deal any damage whatsoever, and some damage to my assistants, so I can say close to 8000 combined. 
yeah awesome now let's jump into the next battle which is really interesting and i would like to hear what you think about the ending with scorpion g And welcome to my second battle today with Scorpion G, Rhine Metal Scorpion G, Tier 8 Premium TD from Germany. Uh, premium TD that is better than the standard Tier 8 Premium TD in pretty much everything. So what is not to like, I should ask, and on the top of that it is going to make you shit ton of credits and shit ton of extra experience, extra crew experience. Scorpion G. The most played premium tank, uh, the most played tank actually in this game at the moment, uh, compared to the, all the rest of the tanks. Hello D49, Scorpion G is known for its amazing aiming time as well. Boom, in it goes. 546 damage done. Do you know what that means, guys? That means a lot of credits, a lot of ching ching, and hello, one blind hit into that bush because I saw three falling before. And over here in this uh, game, on this map, in this kind of matchmaking, tier 10 battle, I believe this is the only. This is the one and only position, or maybe where that Gorilla 15 is as well, where I would like to be with my Scorpion G. I really cannot be aggressive, I do not have any armor whatsoever, so I do not want to be aggressive, I have to snipe. And at the start of the battle it is kind of a snipe fest with the enemy DDs who can snipe better and I'm waiting for my AMX 3090 and my black bulldog in the middle of the map to spot something across the map like that Waffendrager of Panzer 4 that was spotted but as soon as I took my eyes off the minimap that guy got spotted and I missed the chance. Uh, always guys, always keep one eye on the minimap and it is awesome to watch my own replays as well uh, because uh, thanks to that I can see where I make mistakes. Over here I think I missed one damage, uh, one shot worth of damage into that uh, Waffendrager of Panzer IV uh, that was across the map because I took one eye off the minimap for one second. Yeah, pretty sad. Uh, D25 Pilot 1, I'm waiting for my Camonet to come in, uh, to kick in. Camonet and Pinos have been activated. Uh, now it is debatable uh, whether I should run... What you guys uh, run? Uh, do you run um, Coated Optics or Pinos? on your Scorpion G. Pinos uh, is better because it gives you extra view range, you can outspot uh, some enemy TDs, you can uh, outspot maybe light tanks, uh, but uh, for Pinos you have to stand still. Uh, with uh, coated optics you can move around, you can still spot, you can still outspot stuff because you do not have the worst camo compared to the heavies or some other TDs. Boom! That shot was beautiful as well. 4, 6, 5 damage done. But what I was saying was uh, with uh, Scorpion G's camo you can actually outspot while you are standing still because your moving camo, your camo after you take the shot is pretty bad actually uh, compared to the, uh, I don't know, Borshik for example or some something other, uh, some other lightly armored tanks. Over here I actually get spotted. I wasn't thinking that I'm going to be spotted. Uda 3 was able to put one shot into me. Quickly I tried to line up that shot received position. Let's see, and guys, this is going to be one hilarious moment over here. So first shot. I can see splash behind it. So that means Uda 3 is not over there. I am going to take yet another blind hit. Boom, exactly where I was aiming and I didn't see any splashes. Okay, let's do it one more time. Let's see if that Uda 3 is still over there. And once again I didn't see any splashes. So now I was thinking, maybe I am hitting outside from my view range and I do not see any splashes. But, it cannot be true. Uda 3, what the fuck were you doing? Seriously. Centurion 1 has been spotted, waiting for him to get back over here. 384 damage done. Epic uh, low roll from 490 alpha damage gun. Uh, with, uh, what was the penetration? Quickly, let's see. Uh, penetration 246 millimeters of penetration is good enough in this kind of battle all day every day versus tanks that enemy team have has uh, but uh, what tattoo the zero three was doing blows my mind he received two blind shots and he still didn't move away 
guys, please do not try this at home. Centurion 1, boom, yet another sniping shot. And so, so far, 1726 damage done that you can see. But I killed that Uda 03 from full HP uh, on my own. And now I think it is time to move on. I'm looking on the minimap. The Yacht Tiger is trying to chase uh, down D25 Pilot 1. Yeah, but seems like it is not working at the moment. Seems like D25 Pilot 1 repositioned. Enemy team has E100 still alive, JPZ100 still alive. So maybe I'm able to snipe that D25 Pilot 1 across the map. And maybe I am able to spot that uh, Waffen Dragger of Panzer IV for my artillery. Let's see. Ooh, yes, uh, the 25 bullet one has been spotted. And I actually make a little mistake over here. I was waiting for the Camonets to kick in to take that shot, boom, into the tracks. But I should have been behind that push over here because this guy snipes me while I was moving. With H round as well. I have to say I was really lucky uh, not to get penetrated by that H round because that would have effed up my tank uh, a lot more. But still, I should have stayed behind the bush. Once again, yet another note, uh, I should always look for best camos and always uh, like watch out for not getting spotted. Maybe T25 is crashing over the arc tiger at the moment, so let's simply reposition. And over here we have so many trees and bushes between us, I do not know how he was able to spot me even before I was able to take the shot. So 2342 damage done, plus that 1000 HP from Uda 03. And Waffendrager of Panzer IV was able to snipe out our Tiger. but I can see enemy 100. Let's put that shot into the side of the turret. 563 damage done, one more shot needed into the enemy E100. Who knows that I am over here, but who is not taking any shots, uh, waiting for the side turret once again, and boom, in it goes. Enemy T57 Heavy was able to kill our Gorilla 15. God damn, enemy team has full HP D57 Heavy still alive, and that received 470 damage from our artillery. But guys, check this out. Now is going to happen something extremely interesting. I have one HG shell ready. Uh, for that Waffendrager of Panzer IV. Now let's see where this guy is. Last known position is up over here. This guy hasn't to move an inch. Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, hello, 1221 damage done. Over here, I remember, I actually tried to drag that guy for our RT because our RT was ready to shoot that guy. But no, this guy had a repair kit still left. And once again, RT was able to drag him. This time, I didn't have a round loaded in. And this almost cost me the game, guys. Waffen Dragger missed as well. So now it is the battle of who reloads faster. I quickly stopped to evade that shot and he was actually faster. He was actually faster to put his AG round into me, but he missed. I think that shot went under my tracks and splashed me for 228 damage, uh, but I was able to pick up the kill and now I have to run away. I have to do it fast, I have to do it without getting spotted by D57 Heavy and I wasn't fast enough guys. I got spotted, 1780 HP left on the T57 Heavy. He moved a little bit, so I thought this is my situation. Put one quick snapshot into that guy and what a mistake that was. Or what do you think, guys? Was that one epic mistake or not? Let's analyze this situation a little bit more. And uh, maybe, tell me what do you think. Was this one of those situations that is impossible to win or just just let's see. Okay, let's think about this situation once again. So I was trying to run away from the T57 Heavy because I knew this guy is going to be over here after I killed uh, Waffendrager of Panzer IV. And after, actually after that guy failed killing me and I was able to survive that situation somehow. Anyway, I knew the T57 Heavy is going to be over here. So I tried to run away as fast as possible. I tried to get up over here actually without getting spotted because I am able to take one shot without getting spotted. Maybe Art is able to hit him as well and all would be Gucci, but I get spotted over here. Somewhere over here. I got spotted. Uh, so, 
Starting from here, after I got spotted, what would be the best play over here? What do you guys think? Should I stay behind that rock and spot for my arty? But I saw that our arty just missed. Which means, every single time I spot T57 heavy, he gets spotted, and maybe that makes him to rush towards me even faster. If you know what I mean. Like, maybe if he gets spotted once again, he sees me behind his rock, he's simply going to rush in, because he, know, he knows he can kill me with two shots, and I have to reload after every single shot, and that guy has uh, 1780 HP still left. He can receive two shots from me, and one shot from Arty, and he's still not dead. Or is this situation just one of those situations that you simply cannot win after I got spotted? Or maybe I should have kept going and uh, should have taken the risk, as in my previous episode with uh, Centurion Action X. Uh, but uh, yeah, Harty was able to kill me and this game is over with yet another ace tanker, by the way, and with yet another top gun. So two ace tankers and two top guns in today's episode. Over 5,000 damage done with Scorpion G and a lot of credits as well. Sadly, I wasn't able to win this battle. Uh, that would have given me, I don't know, let's say 11,000. 12,000 experience once again would have been awesome uh, with five times and with boosters activated But you cannot you cannot win them all uh, So guys this was my today's episode featuring t57 heavy and scorpion g two really interesting and action-packed battles in my opinion at least I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope you enjoyed your weekend if you have nothing to do, you can check out my beast mode uh, care store once again. Maybe there is something for you. I haven't uh, done that blog for a very long time. So I am going back into World of Tanks now because I have to grind out my Fosh 155. Most likely. Or I try to get Fosh 155 for my next episode. Maybe it is going to happen. Maybe not. We'll see. But take care and bye.